Hello, what is up everybody? RL57 Gaming here, back with yet another Forza Horizon 5 video and today we are gonna check out the Pagani Huayra R 2022. Now this is the new hypercar from the Forza Horizon 5 Horizon Racing Car Pack. Now if you are wondering where do you get this, yes uh, I already told you the car pack, the DLC uh, obviously it costs $4.99 USD if you're wondering and um, the car the cars that are included is the car that I reviewed previously the 2023 Lotus Emira and with that there is the Pagani Huayra R and there is the Celine Sport Truck XR as well as the Nissan Ultimania now if you're wondering this Pagani Huayra R is basically a new to Forza car and it is available with all the other four uh, new to Forza cars as well. Now, based on the thumbnail, I did say this is a predecessor to the previous Pagani Zonda R from 2010. It actually is. Now, you might be familiar with the Pagani Zonda R, the 2010 edition. Yes, that's already an old classic legend by now, but still a very powerful carbon fiber car. And this is the same uh, issue. This is the Pagani Huayra R which basically means it is the predecessor and also uh, like the newer version of the Zonda R but now using the Huayra body and developed into the Huayra R. Now uh, if, I, if I believe so this car has a carbon fiber body similar towards the Pagani Zonda R how it is lightweight and all that because of the aerodynamics of the car, the whole shape of the body, obviously with the air intakes here and there, the huge spoiler at the back, as well as the four exhaust pipes at the back. Obviously from the Zonda R, it is brought to the Huayra R, just that the body shape is different because it uses the Huayra's body, which is kinda cool. And we are happy to see it finally in Forza Horizon 5. And maybe in the future will be available in Forza Horizon 6 and or even maybe in Forza Motorsport which is coming soon. Now the Huayra R I know it is more to like a track focused uh, based of a uh, hypercar. I know it's a track focused car that means it's more to like the track and not more to the road. But, well, they decided to add it to Forza Horizon 5. Now, I know this is more of like an open world uh, car, like game, you know, where you can drive on roads, real roads, real time, you know. This is something similar to the Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12. You might know that. That is a track legal car and obviously you cannot use it for the road. Same situation basically goes for this car, similar to the Pagani Zonda R from 2010. Yes, this car also is more to like a track focused car, which I don't really mind. They did add this into the collection, but overall it's still quite okay, quite a nice car. And overall, I don't know, it's between the Lotus Amira and the Huayra R, whether, which is the best car in the DLC pack. In my opinion, I think the Huayra R is great but uh considering that they've added the Amira, maybe <laughs> i go more for the Amira than the huayra r i know many people love the huayra r more than the Amira, and uh yeah i'm fine with it both of those are very good cars and one of them would be the best so yeah it's either the huayra r or maybe even the Emira. It depends on you guys. Let me know down in the comments which one do you like from this DLC car pack. And let's move on to, to the Huayra. Now the Huayra is quite fast on road. Now it kind of goes from 180 to more to like 220 uh, miles per hour which is kind of fast. Now this car does come with an available engine swap. I believe there's only like one if I'm not mistaken. There's only like one engine swap. I only use the uh, stock version. I did install some turbos on it, but I didn't change the engine at all because I want to leave it stock more so I, it doesn't go that 
fast on road and I won't be crashing into everything obviously but yeah the Huayra R yeah it does kind of suit it the car suits it on the road similar to its uh, uh, previous generation which is the Zonda R I mean like if it's the normal Huayra it would be like a proper hyper car on the road but if you see this on the road it kind of seems like a race car driving around on the road but still it is quite a fast car and i believe this could compete with some higher end level cars like for example maybe like it could compete against the uh let's say the koenigsegg regera maybe and maybe even the lotus avaya i don't know but I think the higher end cars like maybe it's not gonna like compete much with the Koenigsegg Yesco and the uh, Hennessy Venom F5 but maybe this could also go with the uh, other Hennessy which is the uh, Hennessy Venom which is also a quite good car and obviously that's more to a hypercar instead of like the track focused car this is more to the track focused car that's why it has uh, quite a ton of horsepower as well as uh, speed obviously it is quite fast it's quite good in the corners which is a thumbs up for me and um, yeah compared to the Amira that I pre uh, reviewed uh, recently well the Amira is quite stiff and all this car just feels in between in between the stiffness and the softness which i do quite like it's very very cool very very nice to like roam around with it i know this is gonna be good in races as well maybe you use it for online races and all overall it's quite a sick car to use and uh yeah it's overall like more to aerodynamics so yeah like when it comes to track focus cars Obviously, it would be fast in corners and all, but overall, such a sick car. Love the whole racing-ish type of vibes when you drive that car, similar to the Zonda R. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below regarding this car. Let me know what you think. And once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.